Hi, I'm here. Yay. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, welcome back to Sparrow for Year of the Dragon. The best game of the trilogy. Screw Sparrow 2. Hard. You just like to make enemies, don't you? Yeah, screw. Yeah, this is the best game of the trilogy. Screw, screw Spyro 2. Uh, I like a bleach in this video. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Don't send your perch box, please. I have to train but yeah, we have Jason here today. Yes, but I, because I have also played Spyro. Yeah. I grew up with this game, with these games. Um, I. Yesterday at yeah, I didn't actually play the Spyro the trilogy invaded. until like 2013, 14 when I got a PS3, so I'm a bit more of a modern fan. I have a bit more of a connection towards um the, the Spyro than I do Crash actually, but oh. I think Crash. Okay. Yeah, because I, I first. Okay. Or at least my earliest, me my better memories of the PlayStation are from Spyro. Uh, but regardless. Okay. Um, but I still think the Crash games are kind of a bit more, like, replayable. Yeah. I mean, these games, the uh, Spyro game, the Spyro trilogy, are much longer games for stars. Yeah. And, yeah. There's a lot to unpack, I guess. Thank you, sir. Um, I still have all three of my Spyro di three, uh, in PS1 discs, actually. Yeah, I'm actually using a uh, disc copy of the Spyro 3 because, um... The PSN version uses the original Black Label uh, release, which is um, a little bit buggy, <laughs> and it it completely misses one of the cutscenes. So, yeah, I don't know if I I don't think we missed. Oh wait, anything. here's a question: Is it a, if it's a cutscene that you haven't seen yet, or it's we It'll haven't come seen later? It. Yeah, it's a uh, after when you before you fight the third boss, I think. Hmm. All right, so um, I'm actually gonna have to change something here. Yeah, it looks like in Tulsa Bird. Because okay, so something the game doesn't tell you is that if you have um the camera controls on passive for um Sergeant Bird, you can actually do a, a strafing feature like you can with um uh, Sparks. If you okay, let me just put this back on. If you put it back on active. If I remember correctly, it just kind of makes the camera go. Yeah, it just does that. So it tries to fall. Uh, Harry, before you, before you do anything else, um, I'm sorry. The sound went out for me. It never. Gosh, I never had it for the session yet. Oh. <clears throat> I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. But I, I already had the music memorized to a T. <laughs> right, let me. I love, the, I love the music in in the Spyro games. Alright, do you hear this now? Hi, Sparks. Yes, yeah. I hear it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, question. Um, what was the, I know Stuart Copeland did the music for the first one. Did he do it for all the games? He did it for the entire trilogy of Enter the Dragon to Did Okay. I've heard that he had uh, more people work on Sparrow Frame 4. I could be wrong. I wouldn't be surprised because the first two games sound a bit more similar than the last two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, like, like, it could have just been some composer evolution, but yeah. Spyro 1 and 2 have, like, this, I don't know, how Spyro 3 sounds more like video game music, I guess. Like. Yes. Yeah, every, yeah, yeah. Every Spyro, most of the second Spyro 1 do sound very similar. Yeah. Sir, I've captured the enemy Russians. They won't uh, so what do you guys think system. about um, Sergeant Bird? Mm. He's fun. fun. I like the more explorative, like, um, in gameplay he has thanks to the flying. Yeah. Sir, I mean, have blocked the way out of this next I don't, I don't mind I, uh, I Argent, uh, Sergeant Bird too much, but Recommend if I had to be honest, he's probably my least favorite character to play as. Um, oh. of the door. When in position, I mean, his his, his stages are fine, it. and uh, they press make good the use of his abilities. Down, uh, but if I just again, had to go to uh, talk about in terms of uh, mm. just how much I enjoy playing the playstyle itself, he's probably my least favorite overall. I'll still take him over Agent Nine. 
Who's your uh, favorite then, Sheila? I am gonna uh, make some enemies today, but my favorite, <laughs> besides Spyro, obviously, my favorite is actually Agent Nine. <laughs> Get out! Really? My, uh, I just left. Play Harry. <laughs> uh, Why? Or should we wait till we get to it? I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll talk about it when we get to it, but I have my reasons. By the way, uh, there's a skill point here. I believe you can kill the moles. Yeah, let's kill the moles. And you can't um, do that. How do you, yeah, you, you, I think it wants you to drop the missiles on them. Yeah, you like, can't, you like, can't, you can't kill them with your regular rocket launchers. Oh, you can. You can. Yeah, but you have, but you have to be at a really good distance and precise. Oh, I see. I've done it. Not all of them, mind you, but a good, a few of them you can get without the uh, thing. I think you have to be in the air a little bit. Yeah, because like, it, 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 like, because like they rush towards the bar. Mm. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, I'm not gonna bother. But you have a shot. <laughs> It's hard to do, but you can do it. Yeah. Can I finish? Yeah. What the heck? Ah. The bird makes like the weirdest sound effects. <laughs> He's weepy. Yeah. But yeah. One thing I will say about uh, Sergeant Bird is that um, I kind of, I kind of feel he should have been moved to the third home world just for the fact that um, I could have gone on, uh, but just for the fact that I feel like he's a bit more removed from Spyro's gameplay than um, Bentley is, since we just since we named it Agent 9, I might as well say Bentley. Because uh, I feel like Bentley, despite having a really annoying minigame, is more... It's more, it's more like Spyro's like, gameplay than Sergeant Bird is, so I feel like they should have moved them around, I'll, just so... Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I was gonna say, minus, minus that minigame, Bentley is probably my favorite. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, I feel like, yeah, they should have, like, moved Bentley and Sergeant Bird around, so, just so, like, the, the, uh, the gradual, um, that they gradually make it so the, the gameplay is slowly less and less like Sparrow, I guess. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I just said to... What did these What did these gophers ever do to you, Harry? Nothing. <laughs> exactly. That is not why they must perish. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, there's a balloon above you. Oh yeah. Uh, so what? Uh, what's your general like um, Spyro history then? Since uh, you have more of a ex uh, to it. connection um, to it than I've, us. Uh, the only um. I the, the Spyro games I haven't touched are, um, what are they called? The, um, the Legacy series, or the, or there are. Legend uh, Trilogy. Dragon and all, I think it was called, the, the, uh, the ones, Legend, the ones of Elijah Spyro Trilogy. The ones of Elijah Wood. <laughs> the Legend of Spyro Trilogy. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't like the Skylanders, but I don't care that much. Yeah. Um, and I have... I have the, not counting, uh, not counting Aim Spiral Orange, I have all the GBA games. Oh, right, right. Well, considering uh, Kadikris' video, uh, I don't know if I want to try that game. Also, I love him, also in, um, what's it called, what's it called? In Anthony's yeah. video, he able to talk about Crash, he's like, oh, Spiral, yeah, that's even worse. <laughs> it's Crash, oh, it's Cash Panooka! <laughs> Uh, uh, oh I, my god. That's funny. I just love that. It's just the walkthrough music just played stupid fast. Sonic! Sonic! <laughs> uh. Also, deadly weapon. Plants! Uh. Anyways, uh. What was it? Um, just Spire History. I, yeah, the GBA games are all isometric platformers. Yeah. I'm ready to be I don't think it's that, that bad, actually. Mm. Um, I played Season of Flame, that was actually the first Spyro game I personally owned, and it was pretty fun. 
I, from what I understand, uh, Flame and, was it, Attack of the Rhinox or whatever, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah. Those ones seem to be the ones that uh, proceed decently well. I, I haven't heard the best things about Ice though. Like Ice the first. <clears throat> yeah, Season of Ice. Yeah. It was kind of bland, like even even environmentally wise. Yeah, because I've been watching uh, Exo's play for a bit. Like the the issue the issue se seems to be like the like the maze level design doesn't really work too well, and it just makes you get lost. Oh, yeah. I can definitely tell this is a fun one. This one is more, it has more like a, uh, I guess kind of like, in a, it's like you can get more of a, uh, get item in this, get in this world. That happens yeah. a lot. Hmm. But, like, you have to get like a certain item. I think you have to like a big trading side quest, so you have to do like these, uh, or things, and they have a lot more variety in their mini games and all that. Mm. What in uh, in uh, what game? Two and three, the GBA ones. Oh, okay, okay. Um, one of the was kind of annoying. It's the stealth mission of eight nine. Uh -huh. Yeah. Also, I like how Scrap. How this is like the second time Scrappy is like first game in a series, like. Not one of the traditional ones, like his, like, remember it was such a five eight. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, for, yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I like how when you talk to someone, uh, you just drop, you just drop the missiles. Or the bomb hey. driver. Ryan Lee, why do I get the feeling that's the name of one of the developers of this game? Uh, there's probably so, some of the names are probably like uh, like just no nods towards like developers or other people. I think like that. Huh? I got some credits like do like at the very end of it say like kids that were like born during the uh, development of the game. Uh, I don't yeah, know. production babies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I get I like to think it's that's the case with some of these. Yeah, I like I I, I love uh, Sonic Boom's uh, credits just because it has um, special thanks sleep deprivation. <laughs> that is the best thing ever. Something like something that'll show a joke about. Yeah. <clears throat> oh man. Wait, what's this Rise of Lurk? Yeah, this Rise of Lurk. I don't know if, if the 3DS games have anything like that. Oh man, that, that is brilliant. You know what, one problem I've had with Spyro music, by the way, is how it loops. Yeah. It, 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 like, it doesn't, like, how it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't loop, it just, it just plays a single track, it ends, and then, and then starts again. Yeah, it, it's like you try, like, listening to it on, like, um, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, like, you have it playing on like an album, I guess, and then it, you just it just actually ends. Oh no! As it serves as a way to remind you that you've probably been in this level for way too long. <laughs> <laughs> Not you specifically. I'm just saying in general, like yeah, you're gonna you might be here a while. I think my issue, um, I think it's mainly the uh, the um, separate characters. Uh, music were um the... Cause they all use the same song. No, it's not it's, it's not so much that, it's more so the fact that the tune itself is a bit repetitive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I mean, yeah. It works better for short oh, it works better for short mini games than the than full levels. Full levels. And uh, one of the <laughs> levels in the second home world actually uses Sergeant Bird's theme as well, so. I'm telling you, hey, Sergeant Bird's gonna be here. Yeah. And when you go into the mini game areas, I have their own music. Yeah. Which also makes me think, like, like, because I probably have that music set because Sergeant Bird is is in that area. Yeah. Where is the level where where is the music when you're when you're like uh, in the mini game or the Spyro? It's probably what the actual level theme is. Yeah. 
screw up. <laughs> I well. just tanked that. Before I was captured, I recovered this egg from the enemy, sir. Hey, it's boy! <laughs> Everyone, please watch me or whatever. You don't get what I'm doing, do you? Hmm? You don't get the joke I'm doing, do you? Uh, no, not really. Dragonfly, every time you get one of the things, you go, like, Oh! Hey, oh, okay. Oh my, my gosh. <laughs> hey, it's Roy! Dragonflies weren't going to catch. If you record Fire Report, I want I want somebody to edit over Goofy last during those. <laughs> well, um, that's what it's <laughs> I have Fire Report recorded. I, uh, I I'm not the one editing that though. It's um, it's meant to, it's meant to be um. Uh, Cupcake Jake or whoever. Jacob? Yeah, Jacob. Uh, Alright. Wait, is that a... There we go. There we go. I think that's what... Yeah, are, that's... You, are you... Are you putting a green gem somewhere? Because it Wait, had 880 above me. Wait. Yeah, right, go through the portal. I want to see if there's any dialogue. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Awaiting orders, sir. Oh, you're cutting out a little bit, Jason. Any better? Um. Say hello. Hello! Uh, seems okay now. Hello, hello! Alright, then, I guess not. Well, you already have a cutscene? Uh... Or the, uh, with the cutscene with uh, Bianca here and all that? Yeah. Uh, we haven't had that yet. I think I have No, Bianca already... Bianca already threatened. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, not, not, not the, uh, not when you, uh, enter the, enter the home world. There, there's, like, there's another cutscene where, like, she's trying to practice magic or whatever. Why are you going back to, uh... Because you have to finish Molten Crater. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Yes, I can burn. Yeah. Well, that's where the remaining gems are that are bugging me, because you hit your count is at 1898. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, was that was bugging the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if she... If you, if you remember Spyro 4, this is... I mentioned this um, last time, but... Uh, this it, it, this uh, level is actually where uh, Repto meets uh, Gulp, or finds Gulp, rather. Well, same thing, but... Uh, oh yeah, there's like a molten crate there. Yeah. Begging for a nasty nook. <laughs> yeah. It's like, they're, they're, it's just a little thing, little um, continuity nods that I appreciate like that. Hello, Spyro. I'm just off to the Tiki Lodge for some R&R. &R. Oh, is he is he British? <laughs> well, it, well, well, it's obvious. Well, the name is well. His, he said his ner name is an obvious pun on James Bond. Yeah, yeah, because the cutscene name is literally like Bird James Bird. So yeah. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, these uh, bird enemy enemies don't actually give you gems or anything, and they're just going to respawn, so just ignore them. And there's also a skill okay. point. By the way, you voiced by Tom Kenny in the in Spyro 3. Uh, Sergeant Bird? Yeah. yeah. So, I know Spyro by him as well. I'm playing a game yeah, of Tom Kenny does a lot of voices in these, uh, in 2 and 3. Dude, yeah, the, uh, the, what, what, what was the Storm Chasers? I forget what that level was in Spyro 2 with the, uh, with the guys with like, the power plugs over there. Yeah. Horror Coast. Horror Coast. The, are you talking about the one that had the, uh, Ratchet and Clank enemies? Yeah, yeah, they were obviously, the, 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 the Resident Evil Coast are clearly Spongebob voices. Yeah, I, I, I can split here, like, a Spongebob voice out of that. Luna. Also, again, with the, uh, cracked walls. <laughs> Nice little hey, Luna. In time. 
I'd like to, uh, oh I'd, 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 I'd like to, uh, have my, um, be, be, uh, far away from Spark for as much as possible. Uh, don't worry, Harry, right, I'll, I'll remake it and make you play the original before it comes out. I remember loading <sighs> level one Spyro 4 and I was along with Charge Button. Spyro was charging, but he wasn't, but his butt model wasn't moving. Oh, I, I, I've, man, like every time, um, I, Exo's doing an Into the Dragon Fly play for as well, and like every time he, uh, enters the main level from a minigame portal, it, like, I swear like every time it, the Spyro's animation just screws up in some way. <laughs> you know, I was doing just fine until you started playing a Sergeant Burn and now I want to puke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cursed. Uh, well, like, the, the best part- like, like, part- like, he burns like Mario does occasionally in 64, doesn't he? Uh, I don't know. Like, it's fine, correctly. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I think that the- one of the best, uh, things that happened was that he was just- Damn it, he was just running. Uh, like, uh, uh, was it charging normally? And then for s no reason, Sparrow just kind of started doing his gliding animation on the ground. <laughs> it made oh, it was it was too funny. It's broken. Huh? Hey, it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an understatement. <laughs> I swear, when we get to the Spyro 4 commentary for C's, I'm going to make up the running gag. <laughs> hey, it's the blank. Hey, it's blank. <laughs> also, I am going to make popcorn. You're making popcorn? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, skill point is you put with the tea heads on, on the ground here. Oh, I didn't know that. I yeah. forgot about that one. Yeah. Uh, because it's. It, it, can you actually take them out? Okay, no. Okay, no, so do can't. do. Uh, make sure you do that first. Otherwise, you just you're just gonna have to do this section again. Two can Sam. Nephews. Yeah. Like go ahead. I don't think they can. I think they just patrol the same area. They respawn, don't they? Yeah, they do respawn. They, yeah, like I said, they don't give you gems or anything, so... It's there to be fast. Yeah. Bam. And the last one. Charge area in this level. Huh? I'm in such a burst you know, like a supercharged -like area. Oh yeah, yeah, we've done that. Uh, money bag was guarding the door, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he was guarding the door. That should well, be the last egg never here. Happened before. I hope it's not a bad omen. Hey. <laughs> hey, you have nice. Oh, hey. oh it just boot you out of <laughs> There were that. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it... Uh, if you're in an area, you can't exit the level itself. You're gonna have to exit the area, then the level. Or a regular- What? <laughs> uh, Jason? You're missing- Am I? Can you hear me? Got my internet, crap. Uh, well, we, fin we finished uh, some uh, spring. Oh, get it. Oh, I get it. You grabbed the irregular number of gems in the uh, midway in the mid gardens. Yeah, we uh, we haven't f we haven't cleaned up the midday gardens. Uh, oh, by the way, um, if you're noticing in the like like how in Spyro 2, each of the worlds had like a like a seasonal thing. They have like yeah. a, a time of day. Thing. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice little thing. And um. Unlike, unlike uh, Spyro 2, they don't skip out on uh, one uh, time uh, on a time of day here. Because they, it always just uh, Spyro 2 in general like always struck me of having some kind of cut content. Because 
Uh, why else would they just random? Why, why else would they just not include a spring world? It's always weird. I don't know. Uh, but um. I was on the midday gardens, everyone. Yeah, actually starting this world proper because we just done Sergeant Bird stuff. But um. Huh? Like eight to nine, like you go after them first. Yeah, I, I, I go, I go for the. Uh, what I tend to do uh, in this game is do the uh, char is uh, rescue the character, um, do that, and go back to the previous wo uh, home world to do the area that we couldn't do uh, uh, before. Hey, it's Mingus. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but uh, what's your um, just to be more specific on like. Um, like the Spyro trilogy. What's your experience with just the Insomniac games? I guess. Insomniac. Yeah. Um. Spyro experience was fun. I hate games. Um. Plus my child is growing up, so I have a big connection to experience with Insomniac. The only ever games I ever called playing that are Insomniac. Uh... Check that out! Okay. Yeah, it, it's getting really, like... Kai. Yeah. Can, can you, can you hit, can you hit, can you hit Jason, uh, Scrappy? I can hear him for the most part. I'm gonna, I'm gonna multi-tab for a while. Okay. Oh, God. you guys? I'm going sick. Hello? Hi. Hello. Did you hear what I said? Uh, I... Some... Did you... Something about, like, Ratchet and Clank or something? It's the only other... The remake is the only other Insomniac game I played. Oh. As far as I know. Well, I was... I was more... More so say, uh, asking about, like, uh, your... Um... Experiences with Spyro's 1, 2, and 3. Oh, um... I think two was the first one I played, but, that, but I, I like it so much my mom got me uh, one and three. Okay. And I, I, I think I ended up playing three the most. Okay. Um, but here's the thing, my Spyro one and two discs are unplayable. Oh, are they like scratched up. What? What? One? One won't. Go, one get. One gets like caught up. Obviously, on one of the uh, screens, like when, like when it's like the event continues and all that. Oh. And Spyro didn't go past the first logo. Uh huh. But all three were fine. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm? My fifth. Oh, my CPR fifth is. It, it, it's like. It, but. It, Mm. Oh yeah, but um, what do you what do you think about like uh the um the home worlds in this game compared to the other two the other two games? I love how much, it's it probably because later games, it later games so has more advantages with that. But yeah. I love how much these are. Yeah. I also like how uh, condensed they are, especially con uh, compared to the second game. Yeah. Like it, good yeah. luck finding good luck finding totally. good luck not getting lost when you enter any of the Catholic areas in the huts. Yeah. Because um. I don't know how long it's going to find Stony Hollow. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 home, the home world's inspired to, like, barring, barring Winter Tundra, I guess, uh, are, like, really big, compared to 1 and 3. Why is a dragon named Modesty if it has no clothes on? Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh. You answered your own question.
your question got answered. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hi, so, Hi, Spyro. This is a super flame power up. Hey. You'll find more just like it scattered throughout all the worlds. Why don't you try this one out by using it to break all these planters? I think. Oh. I didn't mean to. Is there? That. Huh? Oh. Is it? <laughs> oh gosh. Not oh, the hiccups again. It's just motion sickness. Uh, Scrappy got hiccups at the end as part of two. <laughs> I, just, I can't with this game. I I was trying to say, um, um the world is property, they're called the Forgotten Worlds, right? Yeah, the Forgotten Worlds. Uh, can you pick up this, the egg, please? Okay. It's a little bit finicky, like, trying to walk up to an egg sometimes, because sometimes it just takes forever to register. I don't know why. Hmm? Yeah. Alright, we're missing a we're missing a couple of gems, I think. I can I made the super flame um thing you to Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember this game aim better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> God knows how long. <laughs> I think the last time I played a Spyro game was Spyro 2 when I got when I brought it off the PlayStation Network on my PS3. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot what this hub will look like until I saw it again. <laughs> I like how all those uh, the all, all those guys are just like grouped up in a corner so you can just kill all of them like that. Because yay murder. Uh, oh, we're missing one gem, are you serious? Oh, okay. There it is. Okay. Draw distance, you gotta love it. Are you Huh? Are you gonna I'm gonna. Jason asked if you're going to do the speedway first. Oh, wait, is he is he any... Uh, uh, okay, so that's only cutting out for me then? No, 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 he cut out for me, I just couldn't, I could make it out. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, speedway first, because, uh, uh, you can do it, you can do it, you don't, it's, it's not locked behind a gate right now. No. Um, um, I see yeah, I was going to this, um, I can... Dude, I, I, I can do the speedway, uh... Well, you better do it for a certain point in World 3. Oh, yeah, well... Uh, that's... Uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen until... Until a point in uh, World 3, so we're fine for the time being. Yeah. 